Hey everyone, so I'm gonna start doing let's plays of Half-Life mods. Half-Life is the game I grew up with and I'm really nostalgic about it. And I also of course played lots of mods back in the day and I was I also made some. So I'm gonna start uh, with a mod called Kill All Greenpeace, which is a really really terrible mod I made when I was 13, but uh, which is uh, 11, 11 years ago. But there is really nothing good about this mod except for the fact that I feel really nostalgic about it. So yeah, there is no no story about uh, in within the game, but there is a story, quote unquote story, uh, in the game in the mod directory and. Uh, I translated from the original Czech and also from my very terrible grammar. So I'm just gonna read it. So here it goes. The world is controlled by Greenpeace, which preaches that even zombies and other ungodly beasts have the right to live and thrive. Their leader Franta, who mutated a little to be able to better understand the monsters, has billions of fanatic followers and the few that dare to challenge him are locked up in jail. Your task is to stop Franta's terrible plans, according to which the planet Earth should change to planet zombie. So everyone will finally be equal. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so that was the story and let's start killing Greenpeace. Um, uh, let's kill them on medium difficulty, because I think on hard it's almost impossible. So I, last time I uh, touched this was probably like 10 years ago, so I don't really remember it that well. But I watched, uh, partially watched uh, Let's Play, so I kind of know what, what to expect. And of course I made this, so I guess I will be... There will be a lot of memories when I, when I play through this. So of course you start out with a prison and in a prison cell and you get a crowbar because the guards, uh, well, they just gave you a crowbar because why the fuck not. So let's move on. You just need to run from these guys, so we just go this way. As I said, this game is terrible, barely nothing about this makes sense. And yeah, this, <laughs> this is a suit sign. This is because... Uh, at the time I didn't know how to make textures and I also didn't know you can place uh, decals uh, in the editor. So this sign is actually four brushes, so one brush for each letter. So yeah, <laughs> well, whatever man. Uh, yeah, let's kill these two zombies. This button says if you don't know how to proceed then click it, so yeah, I click it and I die because that's very very funny. Let's move on. So this is the first puzzle, we just need to uh, jump here uh, to get the gun and shoot this box. This is so terrible, this everywhere is just the textures are horrible, it's all misaligned and it's yeah, I'm not gonna comment the, about the quality anymore because there really is none. Yeah, I, I don't think I would be doing anything else, so I'm just gonna talk about the gameplay. Yep, let's kill these two zombies. Oh, no! My god damn it! <laughs> ah! Okay, I didn't plan this. I, I thought I will land on their heads, but yeah, apparently not. So, as I said, I was 13 when I made this. And it's not just bad because of my age, but well, it was also my f first, first pretty much maps uh, ever. But also... I think I made this in under two weeks or something like this. I, I just had a schedule to make to make one map every day, and I 
kind of implemented tutorials uh, on the go, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everything just scaled. Look at the fucking lights, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, whatever. Ah! What the fuck is wrong with this door? Ow. Now let's move on. Well, I didn't get stuck in the wall, so that's that's nice. Ah, it's assassin. Come on, you little bitch! What? The light again, man. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, well, it was a nice time to save the game. No, come on, man. Why did you have to pick up the shotgun right now? That's a nice ventilation shaft with a huge, huge fucking gaps. <laughs> it's just, you know, cra craftsmanship of a 13 year old. Well, I, I said I won't comment on the quality anymore, so yeah. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Soldiers around here. <laughs> Man, the light again. I, I, I won't say nothing. I won't say anything about this, man. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, it seems I'm really, really crap at this game. I need to focus more and talk about bullshit less. No, 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 no! Think I'm gonna die? Of course. <laughs> so this was the first death. So maximum focus mod now. Just gonna pound everything right now. Just need to get into zone. Okay, I don't think that's the zone. No! Of course, I have to pick up a fucking machine gun right now. Okay, that's better. This is very cool. What the fuck? I, I picked up I picked up the med kit even before I broke it. Yeah, I think I I didn't know at the time that you can make you can make uh, the boxes drop object when you break them, so I guess I just put the med kit under it. Oh, well that's a solution too, I guess. <laughs> Right, so this is a pu another puzzle and the solution, the proper one, I, I guess you can... When I saw the let's play I talked about uh, the guy solved it differently, you can use a trip miner. But what I wanted the player to do was to drop these boxes on top of each other and then carefully, very carefully push them together. This is really dumb because, of course, uh, when the small box would fall to the floor, it would be GG <laughs> because you couldn't proceed. But whatever. So th these full bright textures are 
I think this is this is not an error in the map, but I think this is uh, yeah that is definitely just a wrong texture mode or a render mode set uh, on the textures. Should have been solid, but it's it's texture render mode. Come on, you little shit. The evil Greenpeace soldiers have no chance of defeating me, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, he tried to kick me. I think if he just shot me with a shotgun would be a better choice, but... I don't think there are any more uh, kill buttons in this game. It just was the first one and the rest you don't need to worry about pressing. Actually, I think you have to press them. There is quite a bit of pressing buttons in this. I guess this gun would be suitable. One more. There was one. Where's the arrow oh, here? That's two. And that's the two I saw. No chance, I knew about you, fuckers. Damn Greenpeace man. Wanting zombies to live. <laughs> so this says if um, if the change level doesn't work, then you should uh, s quick save and quick load. Um, yeah, but right now it worked, I guess. I guess it sometimes it doesn't. I don't... No! I need to remember to reload, man. So I guess in this l yeah, in this level you have to press a lot of buttons. That'll be m more like it. Well, I I'm kind of enjoying this. But that's just... Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely just the nostalgia. There is really nothing redeeming about this. I don't think this should have ever been released. I, I actually I played this because I found it on a site uh, Run Shoot Think Live or whatever what the Half Life Half Life motto was. Uh, whatever what, what, on that website, I, it will be in the description. And yeah, someone someone put it there, so it's already it's already out there in the world. There's no stopping of spreading of this really crappy crappy mod. But but some people have fetish in really bad mods, and they kind of enjoy them. So yeah, I don't really mind this being out there. I enjoy it too, but for me it's really just the nostalgia. Because <laughs> when I when I play this, I it's like I'm I'm 13 again in a elementary school, just having having a blast making maps. And killing zombies of course, because zombies you have to kill. How many buttons did I press? Did I press them all? I don't want to miss any buttons because if I do I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. So this one, that's two. And six is, I, I think six is the highest number here. Because th there needs to be one, two, three, four, then five, six, yeah. I don't think there's any more than six. So four more.
this guy immortal? So there's the third one. Oh. Reload, reload. I think I'm in the zone now. Another one, come on. And another one. I will kill everything. Kill every fucking Greenpeace zombie. For the win. Uh, I forgot how many buttons I pressed, but whatever. Okay. Better get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck is this room? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I guess I, I pressed all the buttons. That's good. And there's I there's a two red. Oh there is two reds. Oh god damn it. I don't I don't mean the Tourette syndrome, I'm just the fucking Tourette's. I thought there was only one. But apparently there is two, so yeah. Oh, health kit. Or med kit. I came from here, so the door must. Yeah, th there was the door. Okay, didn't, didn't get stuck in the wall, so that's nice. Zombie. Okay. I think there is a secret. Yeah, there is. There is Gauss, which is nice. Better use it right now. Run, run, run! Run for us, run! They got them all. You, you gotta love the jibs, man. That is what I missed most in modern games, it's just the jibs. Jibs were the best. Alright, so this says... Uh, Power for the bridge. So, man, I'm really in the zone. I'm pretty good right now. Kill parade. Okay. I guess I killed some. Hey, Gordon. Oh, uh, I'm not Gordon. Or maybe I'm. I, I think I. Yeah, there, there, there isn't the name of the protagonist. So. Might. What? Did the zombie just die? How did this happen? Is there a trigger? I don't, I don't think there was a trigger here to kill the zombies. It must be bug, bug with the ladder and the train and... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It's funny. How, how when f when you find new bugs in just so, so broken maps? Ah, I got Gauss. Let's jib the fucker. Oh, I didn't jib him. Maybe I can shoot through this wall. Oh, nice one. Hey, I killed both of them. Let's pro. 
So I think there's something is gonna happen with this bridge. Yeah. But it's too far to jump, so yeah, let's see. Nothing. Oh, I I know. Uh, this this is pushable. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so another way to break the game, you know. Some one button. And this I think is there. A? No, there isn't a secret anymore. Ah, oh, you gotta love the chips, man. So now this big thing is turning. Yeah, and I better better destroy the bridge so I can be followed. I think this is a very difficult map. There is lots of soldiers. One, two. There's more here. Come on, shoot the windows. Ah, oh, right in the face. So the the grenade for the for the machine gun was my favorite deathmatch be weapon back then. So almost every soldier has them. So you can have some ammunition. But they are pretty deadly because of it. There's a turret, of course. Uh, there's another one. Uh, RPG, that's nice. That's useful. Uh, let's move to the other side quickly because the turrets would kill me otherwise. Ah. Okay, I lost some HP, but still mostly alive. Be careful here. It was a really bad grenade. Look at all the grenades, man. Every fucking soldier has a grenade. <laughs> oh, another one. Actually, what if what happens if I drop down here, man? I think I'll, I'm gonna be stuck. Nah. <laughs> what? What the fuck? I saved it, man. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking stupid. All right, let's see another save. This auto save two fifteen. No, this this was the auto save. Alright, so, so, okay. <laughs> so let's go for a quick save. Oh, this was really funny. <laughs> so yeah, I get discovered. You, you can go here because, you know, if, if you drop two meters, you're gonna die. I need to kill these assassins. I think this is where you need crossbow a lot. There is turrets everywhere. Yeah. So this is how how pros do it. So when I was reading the comments on on the site, I I I don't want to say discovered it because I of course knew this existed, but. Yeah, when I, it kind of reminded me of this, 
I read the comments they, they were talking about the difficulty quite quite a bit. So I'm gonna show them how to do it. Yeah, like this. Like a like a fucking pro which which is of course what I am. Okay, this, this assassin is too, too good, man. Come here. No. If I stand up, actually, I think I, I should be able to hit her. Fucking die! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this bitch is too OP. Oh. Nothing cover anymore, right? Well, I now let's just throw a grenade to the soldiers down here. <laughs> or maybe let's not. Oh, let's just throw a normal grenade in there. Well, at least at least you have uh, lots of ammunition in this game. That's I guess the only redeeming quality. This works too. You gotta love the snarks doing the wor work for you. Ah, that's an assassin. And it's too far so he doesn't see me. Let's ambush them from the other side. Oh. I bet they didn't expect this, man. Yeah. So this is how it's done. And this is some pro level design. Even breakable breakable terrain so you can this thing uh, must have fallen down here. Well, I guess it is a little bit. The design has a bit of a flaw that the dead bodies are lying up there, but it's because of the ma magical powers of the green piece. Okay, so I'm stuck. I'm not playing this uh, with a developer mode, so I can't. I'm not playing this in a de developer mode, so I can't n use no clip. So yeah, let's just do it at the end. Luckily, I'm, I'm saving quite often, so save. Ah, oh, not okay. I'm not stuck this time. So I think I'm pretty close to the end now. I hope so because even though I'm pretty nostalgic about this, I'm yeah, starting to get pretty boring. So another grenade. Explosive ahead that always always works. So it seems that these two bull squid bull squids are killing each other. It's nice. I knew about this guy. He's gotta be under one on the other side, of course. Oh man.
Why does the crossbow have to re reload? The animation is too damn long, man. There's another one? What the fuck? And another one? Alright, let, let's use the crossbow. I think the Gauss ammo would be useful. Huh. I guess there was eight of them. Four on each uh, level. And there's another one. And this one I already killed, right? Yep. So this should be the last one. Okay, and let's just go to the annoying, frustrating jumps. Right, this was profit. Yeah, in this labyrinth I think there's uh, well, quite a few buttons, so I'm just gonna try to focus and so I don't miss anyone, I don't have to backtrack. Nothing here. Okay, first one. Second. Flipped second. <laughs> I think I I probably didn't know how to how to flip the textures. Or maybe I just didn't care. Well, one of them. One of these options. So this yeah, there's nothing more here and I wasn't here yet, I think. No. So that's the third one. Nothing here. Nothing there. Fourth. Was here, I was here, I was there. This is where, yeah, so that's everything it has to be. And then the other side, okay, almost. Okay, so no more, no more labyrinth here, so this should be fast. I hope I pressed all the buttons, even the middle one. Oh, okay. That's, that's a good way to kill yourself. At least I can check the buttons. <laughs> and I pressed F7 seven instead of F6, so yeah, I quick load it instead of quick saving. Well, at least I have enough HP now. So there's the first button. There's a soldier still up there, alive. We'll just use grenades. Okay. 
I was, I was a bit scared that the grenade would fall back down, but yeah, luckily it didn't. By the way, uh, when you press all the buttons, what happens is that the glass, which is unbreakable, uh, breaks. So yeah, that because you know it's it's just logical. You know, no no door will open, just the fucking glass will break. Oh, okay. At least I didn't fall all the way. See, the glass is broken now. So I, I'm playing this in a window, but oh, on a 20, 27 inch monitor, but still it really hurts my eyes. This fucking green. It's too much green, man. I think every, every area yeah, ha had different co color. This was red, uh, par purple. This was just standard kind of yellowish light bulb. And this is the eye killing green. Which is of course the official, no, official name for this color, eye killing green. Let's take shotgun for this guy. That's another one. Because of these terrible textures, so bright, I, I can't see the crosshair, so it's really hard to aim. But this map was actually. I think it was my first deathmatch map. And yeah, I just put it here. <laughs> it's terrible, of course. As everything in this map pack. I don't want to say mod, it's just a map pack. But I, yeah, I, I do enjoy it. Yeah, but that's really just the nostalgia. Yeah, so I need to get up there. But yeah, I'm gonna get the weapons first. So no, oh no, I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Right, this one should work. Okay, I'm on, on the ground now. And now I can ju just jump up. So this is what uh, zero gravity looks like. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I guess the, there nothing in this game makes sense or whatever. Crossbow, I, I need a crossbow. And this, this is gonna be the final boss fight. So you, you, I'm gonna face the leader of the Greenpeace, the mutated Franta. So yeah. And I'm just gonna go YOLO on this one. Okay, this didn't... I wanna get stuck in the window, I think the... The best tactic is to get stuck. No, okay, this isn't the best. You didn't see me, so it's fine. Let's get as far away as possible. Okay, this was easy. 
And by the way, you don't even have to kill this guy. You just can kill this door and press this button and yeah, it's the end. So yeah, so yeah, I hope you kind of enjoyed this video, got something out of it. I mean, I did, I, but for me it's just the nostalgia. So yeah, that's it. Bye.